What's going on everyone? This is Vince with vshred.com and in today's video I have one simple tip that's going to help you tighten your waistline. Said, today's video is going to be about one simple tip that's going to help you tighten up your midsection, maybe tighten your waistline, maybe improve that shoulder to waist ratio, make it look a little bit more like an hourglass. And also, I'm going to be doing something a little bit differently in this video. I'm going to be introducing what we're going to call Female Fridays. Now, for all my male subscribers, for all the guys out there watching, this does not mean that I'm changing anything else on the channel. I am going to be continuing to do the same amount of videos every single week for you guys on the same days, but now every Friday, I'm gonna be introducing a video, or basically, a, a, I'm gonna be doing a video for females, for women, um, every week. And so this could be videos that will work for you guys as well. These could be follow along workouts. It could be uh, booty building workouts. I actually have one of those coming soon, but we're starting to get more female viewers. And so I want to make sure that we are catered to them as well. If you don't like the video that's being posted on whatever Friday comes, just wait until two days later on Sunday or the day before on Thursday when videos get posted um, that are just regular content. Now, um, before I get into it, I will say, ladies, gents, whether you're trying to lose fat, build muscle, tighten your waistline, the number one most important thing that you have to understand is your body type, and that's not this number. That's not this tip, um, but this tip is going to help when you do that because once you understand your body type, you know what you need to do to get in shape and to burn fat and to build muscle and whatever it is you're trying to do. And this is why I created my free body type quiz. If you're wanting help with getting in shape, hit the link below in the description. Take my free quiz, and that's all you got to do. I'll tell you exactly what to do, diet and training wise, to really get in shape fast. Now, the one tip of this video to help tighten your waistline because people think that you have to go to the gym and you have to do some side bends. People think that you have to do some ab workouts that are gonna really help work those obliques because obviously your obliques are the muscle group that um, take up that part of your body. But the issue with when you train your obliques, what happens when you train any kind of muscle group? Well, when you train a muscle group, you cause these micro tears on your muscle fibers, and then as a result of that, your body wants to then, this muscle that's broken, it wants to build it and regrow bigger and stronger. That's how you build muscle. And so when you train a muscle group, that's what's happening. So if you train your obliques, what's going to happen is you're actually going to be building muscle in those areas and making it bigger. Yes, you will be making it stronger and having a strong core. It does help you in so many different ways, but if you're specifically trying to tighten your waistline, my tip is to stop training your obliques. People go to the gym and they rush there and they have these problematic areas and they think by doing exercises for those problematic areas, they're going to really help uh, define them. But you cannot spot reduce fat. You just can't do it with exercise. So stop trying to and instead, Focus on lowering your overall body fat percentage. This is the, the fix for the simple tip that I just mentioned. The fix is lowering your body fat percentage and ways to lower your body fat percentage. There's so many different ways. Obviously, diet is one. Understanding your macros is crucial. Knowing how many carbs, fats, and proteins that you're supposed to be having every single day for your body, for your weight, for your age, for your gender is so important. And I've had clients and friends and even personally that when they just changed up their macros and started sticking to even a flexible diet of kind of being loose with it a little bit and getting within 80% of accuracy and being a little more flexible with the foods they eat, hence flexible dieting, they get phenomenal results. And something the body type quiz right below this video actually does is tells you how many carbs, fats, and proteins you need. It's actually a macro calculator as well. So check that out if you're wanting to know your macros. Another tip, is to start doing HIIT workouts. People think that the best way to burn fat is to go to the gym or to lose weight is to go to the gym and go for a 45 minute run or um, go for an hour long bike ride five days a week. And so they go to the gym and they sweat their butt off and they go home and they try to uh, eat a little healthier, maybe eat a salad, but nothing's happening. 
Why? Because cardio, steady state cardio is not the best type of cardio there is. It's actually not that effective. You actually don't burn that many calories for how long you're actually doing it. And the second you stop doing that cardio, you're done burning calories. And steady state cardio also has been shown to release cortisol in your body. And cortisol is another name for your body's stress hormone. And it actually enhances how much fat storage goes on in your body. So by doing this steady state cardio, you're increasing the stress in your body, which is actually gonna promote fat storage, and you're not gonna burn that many calories, and then you're also going to hate doing it for an hour a day, and you're not gonna be able to stick to that long term when you're not getting any results. Instead of doing steady state cardio, I want you to do HIT, high intensity interval training. And what this is, is going throughout short periods of time, maybe 10 to 30 seconds of max intensity. This means sprinting your butt off or riding the bike as fast as you can or doing battle rope as fast and as hard as you can or whatever it is, going all out. You want to completely, you want to be out of breath completely. You want to um, go as fast as you can. I'm, I mean, like at your maximum threshold, that's how you are going to uh, deplete your oxygen because that's what HIT does because after you do this high intensity short period of time, this exercise for a short period of time, then you're going to go into a short rest and you're going to go into this short rest and you're going to rest for maybe the same amount of time that you just did the high intensity interval or maybe you'll do it for twice as much time if you're doing like a two to a one to two ratio depending on your fitness level or maybe you're real in pretty good shape already and you're trying to get to that next level, you go two to one ratio. So you go 20 seconds max 10 seconds rest. And then you get right back into that high intensity interval and you do this 12 to 15 times and your workout is about eight to 10 minutes. It's less than 10 minutes and that's even probably with a minute or two warm up and a minute or two cool down. You burn more calories in less time and you kick in what is known as excess post oxygen consumption or EPOC. And EPOC is when you actually burn calories after your workout has ended because your body has to restore, has to replenish that oxygen in your body that you have just depleted during those high intensity intervals and this burns calories the entire time it takes to do this and it can take anywhere from 12 to 48 hours after your workout. So you can burn calories for up to two days after your workout just from doing this different type of cardio. So that's the second thing. The third thing is strength training. People also think that the best way to lose weight, especially women, that they gotta go to the gym and they need to do a bunch of cardio or they need to go grab some five pound dumbbells and do 50 reps of shoulder press and 50 reps of curls and 50 reps of presses. That's not how you need to do it if you're trying to really maximize how much fat you're going to burn because one thing that happens when you lift a little heavier is you're gonna build a little more muscle. Now, the reason that women don't like this, and I don't mean to single you out women, but this is just what I've seen the most with my clients and also with my girlfriend and my mom and my sisters, is that they think that they're gonna get all bulky. They think they're gonna get big and bulky. First things first, you don't have, you don't possess the hormones naturally to get big and bulky from the same exact type of lifting that I do. If you went to the gym with me every single day and you did the exact same type of lifting that I did, you would not put on muscle as fast. Why? Because you don't possess the same amount of testosterone that I do. You have much more estrogen and much less testosterone. Yes, you have testosterone, but not nearly as much as a guy. It's why our voices are deeper. It's why we have more facial hair. It's why we're bigger naturally. Naturally. And so you don't need to be worried that you're going to go get big and bulky. So you can lift in those lower rep ranges with higher weight. And as a result, you're going to put on a little bit more muscle. You're going to get a lot stronger. And as a result of having this little bit more muscle mass on your body, lean muscle mass, not big and bulky, you're going to burn more fat. Because what happens when you have more muscle on your body? you have a faster metabolism because your body has to consume more calories throughout the day to keep that muscle fueled, basically just to fuel your body, to keep that muscle in place so that you don't burn that muscle for energy. So your body is going to consume calories, that way you can eat and you have a faster metabolism. If you feel like you um, eat a meal and it just sticks to your body as fat, well, if you were to put on say five, 10 pounds of muscle, then you can eat and you're gonna feel like your metabolism has been ramped up like you're a kid again and you're gonna be able to eat a little more flexible. You're gonna be, be able to eat a little more loosely and not feel like you're always putting on fat from what you eat. So that's the third tip. 
introduce more strength training, resistance training, heavier resistance training into your workouts so that you can put on a little bit more muscle, get a lot stronger, and increase your, the speed of your metabolism so that you burn more calories throughout the day without having to worry about going and doing an hour of cardio or even struggling as much with losing weight. So try those out. Stop thinking that you gotta go to the gym and you gotta crush your obliques to, to trim your waistline down. Also, I will say those three tips I just mentioned, those are actually three of the tips that I mentioned that I talk about in my body type quiz for um, a specific one of the body types. It's typically the endomorphs that are getting taught this, but there's also mesomorphs and there's also ectomorphs. If you're not sure which body type you are, take that quiz, find out and figure out what three tips are best for you to help you get in shape so you start doing what actually works. So check that out. Other than that, guys, um, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a female Friday every single Friday from here on out, but I'm going to be sticking with the male content as well. I'm going to be sticking to the regular schedule of Tuesday, Thursday, Friday for women, and then Sunday. And those will be my normal videos, those other three. Um, but we're just really trying to open this channel up to male and female now. So hope you guys like this video. I hope it helps and I'll see you in the next one.